India roasting China. Let's hear it. Rahil Sheikh. All right, everyone shut up. My name is Rahil Sheikh and these are my jokes about China. Joke one. <clears throat> Leonard Chan is obviously Chinese, which means the only thing he's good at roasting are puppies. Contrary to popular belief, not all Chinese people eat dogs. They eat cats too. <laughs> That's a stupid joke. They eat everything. <laughs> China has the highest population of pigs in the world. And yes, by pigs, I mean Leonard's cousins. <laughs> The Chinese New Year celebration lasts for 15 days and then for 350 days they are just slaves. <laughs> A lot of Chinese factories have suicide nets. Not because of the horrible working conditions, but because occasionally those factory workers realize that they are Chinese. <laughs> The government of China banned Facebook in 2009 because they didn't want anyone to find out how bad Leonard is. <laughs> According to a recent survey in China, Chinese people have Chinese eyes because they are tired of looking at other ugly Chinese faces. <laughs> I mean, look at Leonard with that dress and that face. He looks like he has DS on the DL. Down syndrome on the down low. But don't let that fool you. Leonard is a proud man, okay? One look at his Instagram profile and you will realize Leonard has more selfies than China has Muslims in concentration camps. <laughs> Chapter 2. <clears throat> Shut up. <clears throat> Not a lot of people know this, but the only reason Mulan was able to fit in so easily was because her dick was as big as everyone else's. <laughs> I'm not saying Chinese men have small dicks, but if Leonard was born in China, he would have been killed for being a little girl. In all honesty, I haven't seen Leonard's dick, but neither has he. <laughs> or his wife. <laughs> At this point, China kills so many babies. They're not even pro-choice. They are no choice. <laughs> Epilogue. <clears throat> India and China, we have a lot in common. Small dicks. <laughs> fucking with Muslims. The difference is, we shit on the streets, they don't. They kill citizens of Hong Kong, and we don't. Free Hong Kong, thank you. Rahil Sheikh, India, bring it. All right, all right. For the final roast of the night, Leonard Chan, China, roasting India! Give it up for Raheel, man. That was actually fucking awesome. All right, give it up for Raheel. Raheel is an awesome comic from India. There's no line he won't cross. <laughs> Except the poverty line. He won't cross that. He'll never cross that. <laughs> Look, he's very loud and aggressive, right? He's a very loud and aggressive man. I don't know how many times I've had to tell you, no, I do not want duck cleaning. <laughs> India is the largest democracy in the world, and it's very hard to know who to vote for because everyone is in brown face. <laughs> but I like Indian food. Who likes Indian food here? Yeah, it's fucking awesome. Butter chicken is one of the most popular dishes in India. Butter chicken also is Raheel's stage name for gay porn. 
You know, in American porn, they have fluffers, all right? These are women who keep the men hard between scenes. In Indian porn, they have shavers. <laughs> now, these are men who shave the women between scenes. <laughs> there is a reason why India is where they invented shampoo. <laughs> All right, that is too much heat and too much curry for that much hair. Like, that is a serious design flaw. You have so many fucking gods. How could none of them figure that shit out? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, okay, what else I got here? What else do I have? Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's still getting hotter. It's still getting hotter, right, because climate change, which, by the way, America, not a Chinese hoax, okay? <laughs> that was for you. <laughs> so the one American lady. So yeah, it's getting hotter, you know, and climate change is a problem, it's real. And like there's huge environmental problems in India. In fact, the only bees left in India are spelling bees. <laughs> there's so many environmental pollutants in India, all right? They're making their way up the food chain. Like every single Indian male body has extremely dangerous levels of toxic masculinity. Like, Indian currency is rupees, Indian women are rapees. <laughs> Yo, don't get mad at me, okay? At least my people have the decency to drown the women immediately. We don't give them full lives and then fucking ruin them. We're not goddamn monsters. <laughs> oh man. No, Raheel's very progressive. <laughs> you know what, before I met Raheel, I thought only the women in India got acid attacked. <laughs> okay, you know, anesthesia was actually invented in India, which makes sense because any woman who's ever had sex with Raheel said they'd never felt a thing. <laughs> because they were unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> he just props them up in downward dog. Uh, <laughs> look, yoga was actually invented by Indian males because that's the only way they can get a white woman to voluntarily spread their legs. <laughs> Although history has taught us that India invented yoga from so much bending over for the British. <laughs> Look, in its entire history, India has never invaded another country, but India has invaded over 200 times. In the international community, India is what's known as a bottom. <laughs> All right, look, I'll finish on a serious note. Uh, okay, this, this, this theater was actually built on indigenous lands. All right, and the Canadian government won't acknowledge it as genocide. And I think it's time that we, as a nation, just admit that we have been murdering all the wrong Indians. <laughs> all right, thank you guys so much. Leonard Chen, China. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. Angie, we bo we bow in both cultures. It's great. Um, all right, guys. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Make some noise if you liked India. What? Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, okay, make some noise. If you like China! Oh! Oh! I need to hear that again! I can't tell! I can't tell! Make some noise for India! Okay, okay. China! Oh! China wins! Huge victory! They're gonna put us all in detention camps. Amazing!